Okay, so to demonstrate the chemical chameleon, you need four main chemicals. First is, is potassium hydroxide. Now you need a high alkaline environment for this reaction to work properly. Then you need sugar as a second compound. Then uh, potassium permanganate and our good old friend H2O. Now potassium permanganate is a strong oxidizer. Okay? So keep that in mind. When a dilute solution of permanganate is slowly reduced to a colloidal dispersed manganese 4 dioxide, then a beautiful range of color is transverse, starting from violet and ending in yellow brown color. Potassium permanganate is reduced by sugar in alkaline environments. So sugar, and there's our alkaline right there. Sugar is a organic compound having many OH groups attached to carbon atoms, okay, which also have hydrogen atoms attached directly to it. Such organic compounds containing C, that stands for carbon, H is hydrogen, and the OH structures are easily oxidized, okay? Now the oxidation of this structure here is as follows, where the alcohol group is oxidized to a ketone group. So I'm going to show you this. As an equation, it looks like this. So there's carbon and hydrogen present. There's an OH present here as well. Plus 2OH, which is a hydroxide ion, yields carbon present with an oxygen plus, I'm trying to squeeze this in here, plus water plus electron. This reaction requires OH, a hydroxide, ion. The alkaline environment for uh, permanganate ion first is reduced to, to uh, the, the manganate ion. That looks like this. MnO4 plus electron yields, this is, this is a single electron, one, yields MnO4, two minus. When there is an excess amount of sugar, then the manganate, okay, manganate, uh, is reduced further. So that appears to look like this, MnO4, two minus, plus 2H2O, plus 2 electron, yields MnO4, plus 4OH. That stands for the hydroxide ion. Now, interesting facts. Uh, manganese dioxide will only precipitate in high concentrations if uh, of potassium permanganate, if potassium per per permanganate is added. So a high concentration of potassium permanganate will yield a higher concentration of manganese dioxide. Now, hydrous manganese dioxide is brown in color, but at low concentrations, it's yellow. So let me head to the laboratory and let's demonstrate this experiment. Okay, so to this flask, I'm going to add approximately 50 milliliters of water. Now to the water, I'm going to add some sugar. I'm going to mix the solution around to dissolve the sugar into the water.
now going to add potassium hydroxide to the sugar water. Now to this big flask here, I'm going to add some water. Now to the water, I'm going to add some potassium permanganate crystals. Just a little bit of it. Now the next step in the process is to add this reagent that has water, sugar, and potassium hydroxide to the potassium permanganate solution in aqueous form. Three, two, one. Now this brown precipitate that you see in the solution that's suspended floating around is manganese dioxide. Now over time the manganese dioxide will settle to the bottom of the flask. I have demonstrated the chemical chameleon experiment in the laboratory, and as always, thanks for watching.